You okay? Yeah. Good to go. Marcus, get it together. Right. You're being called. Let's do it. You running here, Phil? Come on. You okay? Just leave me alone, please. Ingrid, I'm sorry I upset you. I'm married, Marcus. Married? Paul, my husband, thought I was having an affair with this bloke from work. I wasn't, but it didn't matter. Paul beat him, put him in hospital. That's why I left, and that's why I don't think we should start anything between us. You don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. He's a cop. I can't take that risk. I like you, Marcus. I really do, but... Better get back to it. You were eliminated from the ride. I pleaded with them, but you were disqualified. Marcus. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. I just want to say sorry for ruining your ride. Uh, the betting stuffed up the ride anyway. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry for lying to you. It wasn't fair. It's okay. No, it's not. I just wanted you to know, I'm not scared of your husband. I'm actually here to collect Hercules. What? I'm stabling him at another farm. I just want to keep things professional between us. Haven't seen you in a while. Ah, oh, I'm busy, you know. Uh, do you want a hand putting the cattle through? Uh, no, 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 I'll be right, thanks. Ingrid, I get you want to keep it professional, but you can take the help when it's offered. Look, I just really need to get on with it. Maybe you should check your cows again. I've looked at them. They're in good nick. Not too fat, not too thin, good age. It's the bull. Well, I can guarantee you it's not him, it's the girls. I've seen problems like this before, with other bulls not being interested. Oh, he's interested, trust me. In my experience, the bull's always interested. Not if something's stopping him. Oh, well, yeah, the cows. Look, why don't I check out the bull, and then I'll go back over the girls. How does that sound? Fine. I'll get butch yarded. Butch? Looks healthy enough. Doesn't appear to be lame. He's a normal, healthy boy. Must be something wrong with his penis. That isn't funny. I'm not joking. All they care about is getting the girls and procreating, then having a feed. That's it. Is that what you really think? Maybe. It's not so bad working together? No. So, want to help me get his penis up? <laughs> it's an abscess. Something must have gotten stuck under the sheath and it's become infected. But I saw him working the cows. Probably gave it a good go and then shied away when it became too painful. Can't say I blame him. That's the culprit. Grass seed. That's what caused the abscess. Hard to imagine something so small putting him out of action. It doesn't have to be big to cause trouble. Yeah, but once removed, problem like that, probably never happen again. Hard to say. Odds are against it, but you never can tell. Yeah, you can't live in fear. Got to get out there, roll in the grass. Take a risk. Ingrid. Didn't expect to see you. Yeah. This is hard. My head's saying run like hell, but my somewhat stupid heart is saying 
This guy's okay. Yeah, that's a good judge of character. Hasn't been. I'll take it slow. Whatever you want to do. Bike and the thought of you fanging her over the paddocks. <laughs> okay, maybe you do know me. Well, I'm starting to. Hey. Good day. How's Stevie? Settling the bub. About this uh, Santa and Angus cross. It'll take years to build up the bloodlines and make a profit. Why risk it? Alex knew his business, and I owe it to him to keep his dreams alive. No, nope, Stevie's right. This is what's good for Kalani. What about your plans? Your dreams for this place? Why? Blake can't change his mind. <laughs> no, this is what I want. This is insane. You're going to cripple Kalani. My life has changed. Kalani has to change too. doesn't mean you have to change who you are. You're not Alex. You have to do things your own way. Just leave it, Ingrid. It's none of your business. Well, I'm not part of your life. I'm not allowed to have an opinion. Not this time. Well, I guess that sorts out the question of whether I'm your girlfriend or not. I'll just go back to being the vet. Well, it depends. Are you planning a repeat performance? You were right. I need to talk to Stevie about signing everything down. You don't have to give up Alex's dream. Just make it realistic and make it your dream too. I don't want you to just be my vet, Ingrid. No, it's not enough for me either. What, like moving in, moving in? I don't know, maybe. Why not? It's a bit quick, don't you think? Probably. But no one needs to know you're here. I know one except every farmhand at Kalani, then their mates at the pub, and then everyone in town. Well, then you can have your own room. Officially only. Really? You're not a slob, are you? <laughs> okay. But I'm paying you rent. No arguments. Is you pushy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, better go and get your bags then. I'm Joy Neil Thompson's, but um, I'll come past later with my thousand suitcases. <laughs> thousand suitcases? The lady needs her things. Okay, maybe it's a bit much, but I love my books and clothes. So, where should we put them all? Your room or mine? At this stage, I'd say my room, but you can put my pyjamas in yours. We still need to talk about rent. I can think of a lot of ways for you to settle your account. Vet work? What were you thinking? And I expect complete favouritism over all your other clients. You're hilarious. Come on, let's get all this stuff in before my knee gives out. Do you want me to beat him up? Mm, better not. You don't think you'll kill him. <laughs> hey. Hey. I thought you were supposed to be at a phone link. Yeah. The blokes are made of gyms. He didn't want my services. I can't leave here, Marcus. What? Well, because of a couple of grumpy old sexist farmers. Even if we know it's not true, it does look unprofessional. Like I'm favouring Kalani. No, this is crap. What, you can't have a relationship and be a vet too? We're not breaking up. But I am a female vet in a district with a lot of grumpy old sexist farmers. I have to be careful. Okay. Yeah, of course. I reckon we hold the record for the shortest time living together, though. <laughs> <laughs> G'day. Hi. Got time for a coffee? My next appointment's not till later. Very tempting. But can you help me try and get something on air so we can scuttle this dam? Sure. Do you want me in the office? Not a question I can answer in public. <laughs> Are you okay? 
Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Grace is the hero. I heard you were both heroes. <sighs> well, Bryce set up some family trust for some farms out here years ago. So how does that help? Well, it doesn't. Except maybe it's fate that I ended up out here. What, so you could meet me? Of course. Here's